of Stevens Point Airport Commission meeting, recorded January 11, 2021. So for the roll call, I know May's going to have to drop off in a moment here. So whether, um, you know, the attendance just might be four instead of five of you throughout the extent of the meeting. All right. So approval of the minutes is next. Any corrections or changes, additions? Actually, for my uh, name, I don't know if that's in the last one. It should be H A I, and in Sorry. this it says H I A. But Sorry about that. Not a huge deal, but. <laughs> By the way, great job on taking all those minutes, uh, Jamie, for uh, that hour and a half for, or more meeting. Um, you did a, a really good job of not putting too much detail in, but yet ca capsulizing all of the, um, yeah. the sentiment that was coming from the various people who attended. I think uh, you should be complimented on, on your work in that area. Yeah, I, Happy, I agree. Having I agree said that, that uh, I think a motion in order is in order to approve the minutes. I'll move for approval, Ray. Hazel, like like Carl. First by Ray, a second by Carl. All those in favor signify by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Um, claims for the department. Is Jason with us, Joe? Yep, he's here. Okay. I'm here. Any questions about airport claims? If not, a motion is in order. Move to approve, Carl. There a second? Haynes will second. All those in favor signify by the sign of aye. 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 Both same sign. Motion carried. Well, I didn't expect their uh, update on the Friends pro project so fast, but uh, congratulations and we're all curious, I'm sure. I just wanted to let you guys know, and actually just as you were starting the meeting up, we did get a couple more, uh, maybe just one more enter um, resident out on East Maria Drive. Um, so met a couple times out on site since last uh, meeting. Um, I think there's still a lot of really good conversation going on. The town of Hall representative uh, um, Dave Wills has been able to join with us out there too. So I think everybody's on the same page. As recently as last Friday, and, and being that the agenda went out really late this week is why I threw it on there, actually even since we met on site uh, last, um, Jason's been having some meetings with the project team. Um, I told the residents out on site there that there's a, a little indiscrepancy as it relates to right away on one part of East Maria versus the other part of East Maria, and that might lead to us... Um, needing a little a little bit of latitude for when the final design comes in to say well what's 30 feet in this area is not 30 feet in this area and it might end up that what is 30 feet in this area is like 39 in this area or something like that so the reason the reason being that everything came out pretty late uh, way later than normal um, is is just the kind of the world we're living in right now with uh, hard to get things together but it actually worked out really well because I was able to put this item on here and just give you an update on that. And then also say, because I know there's some willingness to do so, to say that if we can get get a little more latitude so that we don't need future action on it to say, you know, we went through the 30 foot approval last month. Um, if we can, if we can kind of get some action to say that, you know, we're going to be able to adjust that fence to accommodate um, right away variances uh, without needing, you know, on the fly action somewhere down the road, because you never know the final design might come out a day after our commission meeting. And then it has to go a month before we come back. We're not looking for much, but I'd say that, you know, what was approved was, was 30. Um, the discrepancy in the right away at, at one point in there is about a nine foot jump. 
So I'd say that if we can have some latitude inside of 45 feet, that, that that'd be great. And then I think that we're sitting in a position where everybody's, uh, everybody's happy and we've got the, we've got the permission we need to move forward just to cover those fact that that's not a straight line all the way across the whole airport property. Well, if I understand the way you're describing it, Joel, that those discrepancies that you just described should make the landowners happier because they're further in the woods. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So I don't think we need to take any specific action here as long as you don't get a neighbor or a group of neighbors who feel that what you're doing that is um, a bit of a variance, that's the wrong word, a, a, a bit of a, um, well, you know what I mean. Yeah, um, yeah. If, as long if as we everybody's know that, happy if we know, or for the most part happy, that's all that matters. Yeah, the residents will be happy with us, you know, not moving closer, which is which is what I'm talking about. And I think that as long as we're not going too much further, we don't need to worry about the regulatory component of it. And the design team so far, and Jason can speak to this, is also recognizing that there's this there's this area in there where it's kind of like, well, it doesn't pay to put a jog in the fence, so let's go straight. So is that consistently 30? Maybe not. Is it further than 45? No. So I just want to make sure we're good operating inside those those boundaries. I guess well, I think uh, that we should just include something in the minutes that makes it clear that the. Uh, commission is going to allow the department to use its discretion and if you feel that an item comes up that you don't feel like you want to take that authority out then just bring that back whenever it has to be brought back. Sounds good. I'd appreciate that. We can certainly update the commission uh, as the consultants uh, find out exactly what that difference might be between the uh, right-of-way discrepancies. And I, I would think that the minutes would reflect this uh, uh, change in the, in, not the change in the right way, but the new information regarding the right of way uh, existing boundaries and how it affects our motion because our motion did say 30 feet. Yeah. We'll, well make sure. Other... Go ahead. I was just going to say we'll make sure that your comments are reflected in the minutes. Yeah. And then I think if possible, either before they start construction on the fence or the meeting after they start, we should see a schematic showing the, how, the, how the thing moves. Yeah, you bet. How the fence moves. Yeah. Not, I don't know that we'll, maybe we'll want to take action on that at that time. But until that is certain, in certainty, we'll just leave it uh, up to your discretion. And, and um, I'm, I'm sure we'll hear about it if, if the neighbors decide not to be happy anymore. So. Yeah, and and it's been really productive out there, you know. Um, not not a not a a meeting that I um, try to avoid at all. They're good folks out there, so it's it's been really good. Um, the only other update I have for you out there is the fact that, and Jason can speak to this a little better, um, but the working with the exact location of Green Circle Trail Ike's driveway at the other end, um, everybody seems to be generally okay with us having a little bit of. Um, uh, artistic license to run that through the woods in a little bit of a creative manner, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Jason. Yeah. Um, any comments about your report, or do you want to speak to something else verbally? One. Uh, one last item on the the fence uh, topic is I will. Uh, I'll make a point of keeping the commission updated on our uh, position in the engineering and final engineering. Uh, uh, plan work as we move forward. When we reach 90%, I'll, uh, I'll bring those schematics that you requested to, uh, to that commission meeting immediately after. Very good. And as far as the, uh, the month of December, we, uh, we had a pretty atypical month as far as snowfall goes, as Craig mentioned. Uh, looking forward to getting the storm crew out here again, but the, uh, the few uh, events that we had, um, the crew picked up right where they left off, so couldn't be happier here from an operational perspective. Very good. Any other questions of Jason? Mr. Laddick, did you have something that you wanted to speak to? Dave? Yep, yep I just unmuted here. Um, yeah, the, as I'm just representing the, the Seuss Point Pilot Association today. And I guess uh, we're all on board with uh, fence. We know it's coming. 
Um, we're very fortunate we haven't had any deer strikes out there in the past few years, but it can be one tomorrow. So we're looking forward to that. Um, Correct. Correction, Dave, give... we, we, we've had two. Oh, have you? Oh, that, was it reported to the state? Because yeah. you yes. told me there has been any in three years. We had uh, USDA on site, uh, CHIP was on site, uh, and we did a, a hazard assessment and uh, we're, we're going down the wildlife hazard assessment route as we speak. Okay, cool. All right, um, everybody's really happy with the snow plowing and I know we've had a light snowfall year and the other pilots want to pass on that they thought the hangar reconstruction pavement was very beneficial this year. Uh, the only other question they had is maybe operational was um, they were kind of wondering about the long term when the FBO would actually reopen again. And I realize we're in the midst of COVID and vaccines and everything like that, but I don't know if the if we really have a plan for that or if anybody's really talked about that yet. A little concerned about not really people that are based there, but on our business travelers that come into town and it's a, the gateway to Stevens Point. So um, sure. I have had some some questions about that. And I said, well, uh, if I'm here, I'll appear on video and we can ask a question and we can chat about it for a little bit and I can give them some feedback. Sure, I can speak to um, how transients are, are getting services. Uh, I'll let Joel, Joel speak a little bit towards uh, plans for when we reopen because that falls under the guise of uh, all of our uh, public fronts throughout the city or public public offices which I'm also involved with on the emergency management side so it's a little bit separate issue as we go through a, a citywide or department-wide policy however services rendered at, at the uh, the airport haven't changed uh, most folks uh, especially charters and, and business uh, uh, jets that are coming in are well aware of uh, COVID restrictions and what we have going, uh, operational adjustments at the airport are very similar to what the Bureau has uh, recommended and other uh, AOPA and other agencies. Um, they give a lot of options and some guidance and we, uh, we took advantage of that. So first and foremost, we brief everyone coming in on what our, our expectations are, what their expect expectations can be. And uh, no one's being denied services. It's just a one portion of the building is uh, is locked down uh, the social portion of the building we have all of our critical infrastructure open to the public and uh, everyone is well aware of how to access it and uh, and make adjustments otherwise okay great all right thank you beyond that um we're we're dealing with this as a, on a department basis and really the next benchmark that we get to has to do with things like statistics that we can point to like a two week decline in infection rate and stuff like that for front window type operations. So I wish I had a crystal ball to tell you when, but um, hey, we're all anxious too. So as soon as uh, that moment comes around, uh, we'll be talking about it and making decisions with the best information we have. Sure. Yeah, and we did the same thing. We're not meeting as an association until probably first of May. And that might even be a little iffy. So, all right, thanks guys, good meeting. All right. Any other uh, comments for the good of the order? If not, a motion to adjourn is in order. I'll move to adjourn. All those in favor signify by the sign of aye. 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 Full same sign. See you next week or next month, I mean. Thank you. meeting is available for viewing on the city's website stevenspoint.com slash videos